As with most phones, your OnePlus One contains the usual touch navigation buttons, a volume rocker and a power button. Where the similarities end however are with the large array of customization options that the phone offers. These options enhance the functions of the buttons and provide a much more enjoyable and convenient experience when interacting with your phone. In this video I will be going through these features and I will be showing you how to disable, enable or change the options that will cause your phone to better fit your needs. These options are all hidden away under settings which can be reached by going to your notification centre and hitting settings. In settings scroll down until you get to buttons beneath the device heading. By just taking a quick look down the list you can see that there are a large array of customization options available for your device's buttons. Heading back to the top we will see what is probably the most favourite customization feature for a lot of people. The option to enable the on-screen navbar. Tapping this option will disable your OnePlus One's hardware buttons and will instead display navigation buttons on screen. Whether you have this on or not is up to you but I'll leave this on for now as we will soon be customising these buttons before we move on to customising the hardware ones. Skipping past the backlight options for now, let's head down to the power button options. Under this heading is the power menu and end call. Here you can see what options will show up once you launch the power menu by long pressing on the power button and you can also set the power button as a quick and easy way to end the call. Now moving down to the navigation bar header, you will see all the options that allow you to customise your software navigation bar. The first option allows you to rearrange and add buttons to your navigation bar. To do this simply tap on the lock in the upper right hand corner of your phone window. This should display two plus signs on either side of your navigation bar. As the prompt says, long pressing allows you to rearrange the buttons on your navigation bar and tapping on any button allows you to change its functionality. The areas with the pluses are areas that currently contain no buttons and the menu button or the button with three dots on top of each other can actually be shown on the menu bar all the time by simply tapping on it and tapping the always sure option. The options will automatically be saved when moving back to the button settings. From here we will move on to the quick launch options. This option allows us to set what will show up when you slide up from the navigation bar. To adjust the quick launch buttons, make sure that you slide up from the arrow and not your actual nav bar, and select one of the available spaces that appear. By doing so, you will bring up a list of available actions that can be triggered when you perform that action again using your nav bar. Options here include launching Google Now, changing your keyboard input method, and opening or killing an app. Two other options can also be set as quick launch options for the other spaces. Once you are finished with all that, then head back to the rest of the options. Under the quick launch shortcuts, you can see that there is a left handed option to float the navbar to the left of your screen for better use by the lefties out there. The arrow keys while typing have a useful option to set for displaying arrows to move the text cursor forwards or backwards. If hardware buttons seem more appealing to you, head back up to the top of this options list and disable the on-screen navbar option. Now you will see that the backlight option is enabled and the navigation bar options are disabled. This is because only the settings fitting to your on or off-screen navbar will be shown. Heading back to the backlight options, you will be able to change the brightness of your navbar button and you will also be able to change how long the buttons stay illuminated for. To change what the buttons do, head down to the sections below the greyed out navigation bar options. Here you will find the options for home and menu buttons. The volume buttons are available with both on-screen and off-screen navigation bars. Under the home button heading you will find the option to answer your calls through the use of the home button and we'll also be able to change what double tapping and long pressing does. First things first we'll go into the long press options. Here you can see that there are a large array of actions that can be triggered by long pressing the home button and just so you know the search assistant will bring up Google now. The double tapping option will be exactly the same. If you go down to the menu button the exact same options will be there. Un under the volume buttons you'll see that there's the option to enable your phone to be woken up by clicking on the volume buttons. This is useful for people like me that keep forgetting which sides of the phone the power button is on. Although it may be annoying for people who are also like me that likes to change the volume of their songs while their phones are in their pockets. I guess there are just some situations where you can't win. Anyway, moving down, playback control will allow you to move forward and backwards between songs by simply long pressing your volume keys. 
Your text cursor can also be controlled by clicking the up or down volume button. Of course your volume won't actually change while you're doing this. Reorient will change the order of the up and down volume buttons when your phone's volume buttons are facing downwards. So that's about it. Those are a lot of customization options available for your navbar, but they are all options that will help enhance your phones and make it exactly how you want it to be.